Got Josh Reeves here, South Kent senior, committed to Mount St. Mary's College in Maryland. What's up, Josh? What's going on? Why not Hamden High or Hamden Hall? Uh, really, my family like went here, and all of my family from my mom's side, my brothers went here, and really stuff like that. Uh, my mom really didn't want me going to Hamden High. She wanted me to get like a Catholic school uh -huh. type education. And she just thought it was better for me. You know, my dad kind of fit in with the decision as well. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, Shepherd Glen over there. It's all the way over there. Um, that was my elementary. Then I transferred going into sixth grade, St. Stephen's Catholic School. And ever since then, like, that was just the best fit for me. So, sophomore year, state championship. Did not come on top. But yeah. junior year, you had a ring at the end. How did that feel? Uh, it felt great. You know, I still, you know, Still, I'm still in the shock of words actually. You know, it's almost been two years. Uh, really, sophomore year, like, we were a new team basically. You know, some guys were old when, you know, good with each other, you know, chemistry was good with them. But, mm -hmm. you know, some of us coming in, us transfers, you know, we really had to just lock in with each other. And I think we did that my junior year and their, their senior year. And uh, we ended up going undefeated and, you know, beating the team we lost to the previous year and you know the guys that were seniors they lost him about three times in a row so you know that just felt like victory to me you know revenge Major mark right on the state right. do you still keep in touch with those guys of course you know every two weeks three weeks from now <laughs> so <laughs> who do you look up to who's your role model you want to know the truth basketball or just lifestyle give me both uh basketball really no one but i look up to like lebron as in the business aspect and you know building his platform yeah. i want to do that you know as i get older you know i want to get back to my community you know my town of hamden and you know my city of new haven mm -hmm. i grew up on both sides so i i'm big on that um lifestyle is my grandmother uh she passed away i believe going on two years a year now mm -hmm. um and she was just big on helping people you know helping her community you know whether it was you know seeing them or not seeing them you know so that was just my biggest motivation after she passed away you know just okay. living up to her legacy if you were to play another sport what would it be baseball i played baseball when i was little uh i played i started off with basketball when i was about two believe it or not you know i was i we had a ring in my house i was dunking and everything uh that's when my dad knew like it was just that's for me to play sport and then as I got older, I was into baseball. I knew the whole Yankees lineup <laughs> from probably Derek Jeter to the last man. I don't remember now, but um, yeah, baseball. But I, I, I quit baseball after I got, believe it or not, I got hit in the calf in uh, the, the major league. I mean, that's what it was called. Yeah. And uh, I got hit and I just quit the next day. <laughs> so uh, that was it for me. I was like, basketball, I can just stick with that. You versus one college athlete. Who is that? Cassius Stanley. I plan on scheduling that game next year against Duke because we get one uh, high major team. So. I want to see that. Me too. What about NBA? De'Aaron Fox. He's quick. He's fast. He's, uh, fast. he's actually my favorite player now. Really? Um, him or I want to say Paul George maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody would love to play LeBron, but you know that's a dream come true if you're like a rookie in the league. Um, so, De'Aaron Fox, Paul George, LeBron, K KD, obviously, uh, Kyrie, but he'll, he'll probably sauce me up my rookie year. But, <laughs> you know, if I get at least 10, 7 points, yeah, that's, 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 a, that's a start. A goal. That's a goal. So. Here at Josh's first court, where he started playing basketball, the game he loves, Wintergreen first. Who is the most influential coach you've had? Uh, my AU coach, Dave Taylor. Um, he had me when I was little, about 9 or 10. I was actually chubby too, cause like I played baseball and I just ate a lot, so I was <laughs> chubby and slow. Um, he took me in. He lived in California and then he moved all the way down here just to coach uh, some of us guys from Connecticut, cause he believed in us so much. Mm -hmm. um, after that, I kind of like traded and went to different teams, AU teams throughout my basketball career, cause I thought you know it'd be a better fit. And then I came back this past past season for spring and summer, and um, he turned me into like a point guard and you know try to get coaches to recruit me because you know going into my senior year basically I had nothing I had no offers no interest really um 
and you know he just exposed my game to another level to where you know I'm able to play Division One basketball, you know, my dream, and hopefully years from now go on to, you know, the big level. So I have to give a lot of props to him. What motivates you to every day get up in the morning, go to the gym, work out, and just go to bed realizing I had a good day, and blank, this keeps me going? Really, my father and my mother, you know, my dad, you know, he works very hard, you know, he's been working hard for me and my siblings for the longest my mother uh same with her you know they work day in day out um i'm seeing my mom go in at 11 sometimes or do the 12 hour shift you know and then coming home barely getting sleep and they have to do it again uh my dad the same thing only getting two days off really uh this is just motivating to me you know along with my family you know my grandmother like i said before um and just like my community where i'm from you know a lot of you know bad things happen in my city a lot of you know bad things happen in my town and you know just to be able to probably be one of the few to make it out you know not a lot of us made it out and you know we'll continue to chase and pursue dreams from my town Hamden so that's really my motivation every day I wake up and you know go to sleep really and God obviously so number one for sure Mount St. Mary's Mount in Maryland why them uh out of all the schools that really recruited me throughout the spring and summer, you know, it was, I just took the unofficial and it was the best fit for me, actually. Um, they seen me play, I believe, and uh, it was one of the tournaments, I'll say that. And then they kept coming to my games, you know, we had tournament after tournament, and they just texted me, like the assistant coaches and the head coach called me, and just the love and support they showed um, throughout the recruitment process, uh, process it was just, like no other really um and then when i got into unofficial visit the, the love and support they really showed my family and i it was beautiful like you know they want me to succeed they want me to pursue my dreams as well they want me to take care of my business you know they're going to give me things but they also want me to take care of that business and you know i'm all about that i'm all about taking care of business you know individually but also just letting just having someone to give me that pathway to do that um so it's just a great fit, you know, you can worry about school and then you can worry about basketball. And that's all I really need to focus on. So, Josh will be finishing his senior campaign at South Kent High School this year before he heads off next year to Mount St. Mary's. Good luck. Thank you. This year, ball out. Of course. And yeah. Of course. Third.